Hello everybody, it's Miss Wendy. Today we need some shakers. So if you have some in your house, some maracas or egg shakers or something else, go and get them. And when you have them, start the video again. If you don't have some, you can make some pretty quickly. You need some containers with lids on. Or I use some plastic Easter eggs left over from Easter. There's no more candy left inside. Um, I'm sad to say. So, um, I covered the little holes in the bottom and the top with scotch tape. I filled the insides with some rice. You could use beans, dried beans, or little stones, or even sand from outside. The important thing is, after you close it up, please put some tape around the middle so it doesn't come open by accident or on purpose. And when you have that, you're ready to go. This song is called The Adventures of Isabel. The poem is by Ogden Nash. And the music is by Natalie Merchant. When Isabel solves her problems with, um, some of them are not very real. A uh, hungry bear trying to get her. Um, a wicked witch wanting to turn in, her into a toad. Or a horrid giant wanting to grind her bones to make his bread. Or a doctor wanting to give her pills she thinks about it and she comes up with a solution when she comes up with a solution shake your shaker is really hard for her the rest of the time just keep time to the music okay the adventures of isabel <laughs> for Isabel. She solved the problem. Once in the night as black as pitch, Isabel met a wicked old witch. Witch's face was cross and wrinkled. Witch's gums with teeth were sprinkled. Oh, Isabel, the witch crowed. I'll turn you into an ugly toad. Isabel, Isabel, she didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream as scurry. She showed no rage. She showed no rancor. She turned that witch into muck and drank her. Make your shakers for Isabel. She solved the problem. <laughs> Shakers for Isabel. Isabel met a troublesome doctor, pinched and picked and really shocked her. Doctor's back was coughs and chills. Doctor's satchel boards with bills. Oh, oh, Isabel, the doctor said, take these pills, they're gonna make you well. Isabel, Isabel, she didn't worry. Isabel, didn't scream as scurry. She took those pills from the back and cracked her. Isabel, she cured the doctor. Shake your shakers for Isabel. <laughs> those shakers for the next part too. I have a book that I'm going to turn into a music story. This story is called Baby Rattlesnake. You will need your shakers um, because every time you hear the word rattle, I want you to shake your shakers. You don't have to shake them on the word rattlesnake because that makes for an awful lot of shaking. You can do it if you want, um, but I'm going to take the easy way. Baby Rattlesnake is told by Teata, and here's a picture of Teata. Um, but it was adapted by Lynn Maroney. That means she told it her own way. Pictures are by Veg Reisberg. All right, here we go. Baby Rattlesnake. Out 
out in the place where the rattlesnakes live. There was a little baby rattlesnake who cried all the time because he didn't have a rattle. He said to his mother and father, I don't know why I don't have a rattle. I am made just like my brother and my sister. How can I be a rattlesnake if I don't have a rattle? Mother and father rattlesnake said, you are too young to have a rattle. When you get to be as old as your brother and sister, you will have a rattle. Two. But baby rattlesnake did not want to wait. So he just cried and cried. He shook his tail and when he couldn't hear a rattle sound, he cried even louder. Mother and father said, shh, shh, shh. Brother and sister said, shh, shh, shh. But baby rattlesnake wouldn't stop crying. He kept the rattlesnake of people awake all night long. The next morning, the rattlesnake people called a big council. They talked and they talked just like people do but they couldn't decide how to make that little baby rattlesnake happy. He didn't want anything but a rattle. At last, one of the elders said, go ahead, give him a rattle. He's too young and he'll get in trouble, but let him learn a lesson. I just want to get some sleep. There was a word rattle in there that we didn't shake for. Can you shake it now? So they gave baby rattlesnake a rattle. Baby rattlesnake loved his rattle. He shook his tail and for the first time he heard. He was so excited. He sang a rattle song. He danced a rattle dance. Soon baby rattlesnake learned to play tricks with his rattle. He hid in the rocks and when the small animals came out, he darted out rattling. He made old jackrabbit jump. He made old man turtle jump. He made prairie dog jump. Each time baby rattlesnake laughed and laughed, he thought it was fun to scare the animal people. Mother and father warned baby rattlesnake, you must not use your rattle in such a way. Big brother and big sister said, you are not being careful with your rattle. The rattlesnake people told baby rattlesnake to stop acting so foolish with his rattle. Baby rattlesnake did not listen. One day, baby rattlesnake said to his mother and father, how will I know a chief's daughter when I see her? Well, she's usually very beautiful and she walks with her head held high, said father. And she's very neat in her dress, added mother. Why do you want to know, asked father. Because I want to scare her, said baby rattlesnake. And he started right off down the path before his mother and father could warn him never to do a thing like that. The little fellow reached the place where the Indians traveled. He curled himself up on a log and he started rattling. He was having a wonderful time. All of a sudden he saw a beautiful maiden coming towards him from a long way off. She walked with her head held high and she was very neat in her dress. Ah, thought baby rattlesnake, she must be the chief's daughter. Baby Rattlesnake hid in the rocks. He was excited. This was going to be his best trick. He waited and he waited. The chief's daughter came closer and closer. When she was in just the right spot, he darted out of the rocks. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Oh, cried the chief's daughter. She whirled around, stepping on baby rattlesnake's rattle and crushing it into pieces. Baby rattlesnake looked at his beautiful rattle, scattered all over the trail. He didn't know what to do. He took off for home as fast as he could. With great sobs, he told mother and father what had happened. They wiped his tears and gave him big rattlesnake hugs. For the rest of that day, baby rattlesnake stayed safe and snug close by his rattlesnake family. And I hope you are safe and snug near your family. And I hope to see you soon. See you next time.